Hi everybody, it's Christine at C.L. Aldridge Art and I come to you today with all sorts of things to talk about and I am just delighted to be here. Uh, as you may have noticed, I have been getting fancy with my um, software and I have created a new intro <coughs> and I was curious as to what you thought about it. Please leave me some comments below and let me know what you think of the new intro. And um, and I'll tell you the story of how that sort of came into being while I uh, do this. So what the goal here is, is to finish up the very last of the coloring on the one that I started on Christmas Day, because I wanted you to see the finish. Um, and I don't have that much more to do, but it's the details and the fiddly bits that we get to do with some gel pen. And the other thing is to announce that I will be live streaming every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time going forward from this week, beginning this coming Sunday. It was a time that was um, that once belonged to Anne at A Colorful Life, and since Anne uh, has made her announcements um, as to her goals for the year, and live streaming is not, doesn't seem to be on that list, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and grab that time slot. It works really well for me. <clears throat> to the best of my knowledge, it works really well for the coloring community, and, um, and I hope that going forward, I will get to see you there. Please also address that in the comments below and tell me what you think about that. Sundays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is about 7 p.m. UK time. Um, and I don't know what time it is, uh, Australian time, but... Uh, okay, so I uh, am going to go ahead and uh, show you that I have continued to work on this since last you saw it. I did add some Neocolor to the, um, to the water there. I wanted to make it look like a pond. And I have added just a simple yellow, you know, pale yellow uh, up here. And uh, of course, I did my glass ball and I would, the only things left to do are the glass ball here and um, uh, finish blending this out and do that and then the gel pens. So without further ado, we will get started on that. And I am back. I did take a brief pause there. I had changed a bunch of settings on my uh, setup and I think that I have mass. I had to look at the playback to see what was happening, and I think I have made a massive improvement in my lighting, in um, all kinds of stuff. So, 2019 will be a year of refinement for me. I will be refining a lot of processes that I have uh, started and then stopped and sort of left halfway in between. I'll be picking up my fabric line again at some point, um, not probably right away, but uh, certainly soon. Uh, I'm going to do a, um, a tote bag with this particular uh, design on it because it's just gorgeous in real life. Um, and so there will be a lot of stuff going on. So I was going to tell you about how I came to um, to start looking at redoing my uh, intro stuff. Now, I had thought that I was doing pretty good by building the little logo things. I'm going to turn this book over, and I'm actually going to work on this side. And um, I'm going to mess around with my focus here just to make sure that I am in focus. Now, 
that looks a little better going forward. We shall see. Um, so as with so much of my adventure here on YouTube, uh, my looking into animating um, my intros from just the little song and, you know, placard thing that I was doing to this sort of zhuzhed up version that you saw today. Um, started when I saw what Anne had put up for the holidays. And she had this really cool customized um, uh, um, oh, the one that she did for Halloween and then also the one that she did for Christmas. Now, I know that her son Aaron um, makes some of those for her. I did not know if he had made any of those but then I saw that Claire had done one for her site and um, Belinda has a cool one on hers and so a lot of people were getting these cool animations. And I can tell you that if you are willing to spend uh, a fair amount of cash, you can have a custom one of those made for you. Um, but I don't have a lot of cash, so I went looking for different options. And as I was sort of searching around, I came across a number of sites that claim to have free stuff that, of course, you know, it never actually turns out to be free. This, by the way, is the, um, oh, this, by the way, is the Cobalt Turquoise. Uh, PC 105. I thought that I was using the wrong color. I'm not. I'm actually using the right color. Thank goodness. So I'm just doing a transparent glow ball like I did. These are like gazing balls in the garden. Uh, just like I uh, would do any kind of a regular gemstone. Um, very light handed small circles, blending as I go. So at any rate, I went looking at these sites. Now, of course you know that I did find a pretty decent free one. And they had exactly, and I do mean exactly, what I wanted. The only problem was, is that whoever had designed it, had, uh, had designed it, for a program called Sony Vegas Pro, which is a fortune. And you had to have this Sony Vegas Pro to be able to edit it properly to substitute the, the gobbledygook language that they had put in it, uh, you know, the placeholder language, uh, to put your logo and your stuff like that. Well, I didn't have it. So I looked for a free download of, you know, like a sample uh, of, you know, a, a, the free trial version and stuff like that. And sure enough, there was one, but it was going to be this sort of massive learning curve. So I continued to look for something free. And as I was looking, a marvelous YouTuber by the name of Nick Nimmin, uh, popped up in my suggested list. And I went over to his website. He is a, uh, I guess you'd call him a resident guru of all things YouTube. And he has a business called, uh, or a collaboration with other folks called Tube Buddy. Well, I didn't find what I was looking for there, but I did finally learn from Nick how to better operate my OBS studio. So there will be some really cool things that I will be adding to the channel going forward. 
um, I, I I don't have them. Pre it requires me preparing more graphics than I've had time to pre prepare. Um, so I can't show them to you today, <clears throat> but they'll be really cool uh, things on my videos, uh, which will help not only make my uh, whole presentation more professional, but it will also uh, be able to answer questions for new subscribers without me actually having to uh, answer the questions. <laughs> Because various stuff will periodically pop up on the screen and, and you know, like, you know, where you can follow me on Instagram and, and you know, what my website is. By the way, everything is C.L. Aldridge Art. It's www.claldridgeart.com and everything else is, you know, is always C.L. Aldridge Art. Um, so the colors that I've been using here, by the way, just for those that are interested... Uh, in addition to the uh, cobalt turquoise number 105, I've got the aquamarine number 905 and the lightest shade of the light aqua, which is number 992. And then I've also got the light green, which is PC920. And of course, these are all Prismacolors. So, um, so at any rate, so back to my search. So now I'm getting frustrated and because the, I've still got my heart set on the one that I really want. And of course I cannot find anything that I like better. And then I discovered a site called Panzoid. Well, Panzoid is a, um, it's, it's, it's basically, um, it, it all, it's all variations of a program called AutoCAD. And AutoCAD is a three-dimensional modeling device that I once tried to learn to use. And it, I did not find it intuitive in any way. And I, um, was never quite able to make it work for me before I would lose patience. All right. So, you know, one thing leads to another, and I'm, I'm following little rabbit holes. And I finally found a place uh, called Vidivo, V I D E V O dot com. V-I-D-E-V-O. And it has an option where you can ask it to show you the truly free stuff. Not the stuff that, you know, that will lead you to a, yeah, you can have this, but only in 360 uh, resolution. And at any rate, they had those nifty animated light backgrounds that you see that I have used. Then I went back to Nick <laughs> and I studied a little harder on how to use my OBS software. And I tried and tried and tried and I couldn't do it. <laughs> so then finally, I used my video editing software, which is of course an entirely different animal that I had to learn to use. This is my Tortillion, and I am just blending, blending this out. Uh, and after working at it for a little while and learning how to use the animated features uh, that come with that, because open I, I, I use or I have OpenShot um, video editing software, and it is wonderful. It is really wonderful, and it is what I've been able 
to do the, you know, the, the videos that I've done up to now, any little special effects, all of my end graphics and titling work and all of that has been done in that. But of course, it's far more powerful than I ever knew. Most software is. I learned that with my Inkscape as well. Uh, but it also is set up to work with a program called Blender. Now, all of this stuff, by the way, I should give a shout out to the Linux people because all of this stuff is open source and it is truly free. Absolutely free to download. You do have to teach yourself to do it, but there is just tons and tons of tutorials on the web or on YouTube on how to use all this stuff. So then I just went in with a little green. I basically just just tweaking it at this point in time, making it exactly what I want. So after working at it and working at it, the version that you guys are seeing today is the final cut. And that took me two days to figure out. How, no, it took me two days to figure out that I could do it and about 45 minutes to actually do it. And then, of course, I had to sit on it for a while. I went and did something else. Uh, I think I watched Dev's stream. I came back and looked at it again, made one final tweak, and said, that's it. That is the way I want it. And so now you know the story of how I did that. In addition to that, while I was on my little self-imposed hiatus there from working on that, I also built a new thumbnail graphic, which you will also have seen uh, on the head of this video. And I finally was able to add and do the modification that I've been meaning to do to what is lovingly known is in my computer as the most recent shot <laughs> of my body of work. Of course, every time I add a book or, you know, release a new book, draw a new book, uh, I have to modify uh, my most recent shot picture. And it's not hard to do. It's just a matter of setting myself down in front of the right program and actually getting it done. Um... And, of course, I learned about book three to not reinvent the wheel. And so I've been using the same, you know, the same general format. I just, every once in a while, I'll change up the background. I've got a version of it saved in Microsoft Publisher that I can now just edit. So I don't have to mess about with uh, creating a whole new one every time I add a book. Of course, I have room for one more before I, I have to either make the graphics smaller or uh, or figure out a way to reformat the page. So that was on my list of things to do, and it is now off my list of things to do because it is done, which means that that is good. Now, one of the reasons why I've been working quite so hard, and you all should know, is that Miss Kenny has gone missing again. Somebody is picking up her messages on her, uh, apparently her phone because, you know, Messenger tells you whether or not your message was seen and approximately what time it was seen. But what it doesn't tell you is, is if anybody actually read it, other than maybe just clearing the phone, uh, or what, but... Whatever it is, um, up to this point, it has not been like Kenny to not get back to me. Uh, if I if I write to her, and uh, yet the messages are being seen, but no one is answering. So what's happening is is that I am putting my. There are things that I can do, in my life, and there are things that I can't. I can't control whether or not 
someone that I care about is okay or not. And I can't control if there is anybody who knows to let me know if she's not okay. So I just have to be with that and hope that L is well. And so that is one of the things that I am doing. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't say I was mastering it, <laughs> but I am certainly trying. Okay, so there is that. And then, of course, I had a lovely conversation with uh, with Miss May today, who uh, who always makes me feel, you know, happy. She's a fun, wonderful person. who is always positive and always there to give you cheering up if you need it. And I've been watching all of the uh, finishes, you know, all of the uh, 2018 wrap-ups. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm just really just putting a light coat, not a heavy coat, just a, a light, smooth coat once again holding the pencil way back here. And I just think of all of the absolute blessings that I've had in 2018. I mean, it started really, my year kind of started off, uh, 2018 started off yucky, um, in that, because that, it, on January 7th is when I fell and broke my wrist which is a terrifying thing for an artist. Uh, fortunately, once again, it was not my drawing hand, uh, but I was right in the middle of drawing for the release of uh, Fantasy Flower Garden, Oops. And uh, which is the one with the little mice and the, uh, you know, the one that I, I colored in last time. And... Um, and so I was very unclear, because, uh, you know, having a broken wrist was a bit of a distraction. Uh, was very unclear if I was going to be able to uh, finish that book on time. It was late, but uh, I did uh, get it in for a release in early March. So that one released in early March. And uh, then uh, in... June, uh, I was contacted by Anne, and in July was the featured artist, so the year started to go much better from that point on. Uh, September, I was the featured artist in the Color On magazine, and so they got five exclusive drawings, which... Uh, not this month, but by the end of February, uh, I will be adding to my collection at, uh, at, on, on, uh, Etsy. Because <clears throat> those five drawings, I, uh, license them for exclusive use by the magazine for six months. And that six months is up, uh, in February, so I will be listing them in the shop and they will be available to everyone. Uh, or you could always get them by subscribing to the magazine. And uh, it's a... It, uh, Color On Magazine is an e-magazine. And so the only way to get it is to subscribe to it and then you download or they'll send you... <coughs> the link to your issue online. Sorry about that. A little break to cough. Then, of course, the postman got me all excited yesterday. 
I had placed a little order right after Christmas to Amazon. And so yesterday, the postman rang my bell, and I was uh, right in the middle of a nap. So I got up and went and grabbed the mail and the packages off the front porch, came in and put them on my desk, and then I went back to my nap, thinking, oh, I'll have something to look forward to when I wake up. So I finally woke up and went and grabbed myself a cup of coffee and went to sit down at my desk, and I looked at the envelope, uh, and one of the envelopes, pieces of mail, and uh, it was from American Express. And I'm like, well, I don't have anything to do with American Express. And it didn't, it wasn't junk mail. It was an actual credit card. And that, that caused me to look at, at the, uh, you know, the address. And sure enough, if that mailman hadn't delivered all my neighbor's mail to me. And I had thought it was a little early for my packages to be arriving from Amazon since I don't have Prime, and I always get the, you know, I always take the free option by spending $25. Uh, and that way I get free shipping. And, uh, but I, you know, it was, I, I, cause I had just placed the order like two days before, and it usually takes between five and eight days for the free shipping option that isn't Prime. So there I was, all, all excited, and I ended up having to take the packages next door. <laughs> oh well. Then my, because they were all for him as well. So, he was a happy guy. Because he thought that somebody had stolen his packages. <laughs> it's like, no. Postman in training, delivered to the wrong house, again. I only have, you know, the, 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 the numbers on my house are only about six inches tall. And they're painted bright red. They're not, it's not as if they're invisible. They're not even faded. <laughs> he just can't see them, that's all. So about six times a year, I end up with my neighbor's mail. I just thought that was pretty funny. Oh my goodness, I am so anxious. I, uh, I think I may have told you that I have... Uh, decided the theme for my next book. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but uh, it was inspired by an artist I much admire, and uh, uh, and that was the, that chain of gratitude that I was talking about. Speaking of gratitude, speaking of gratitude, thank you again to uh, Ms. Melody. And let me tell you why. Um, Melody gave me the peace of mind of uh, of getting to, uh, to 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 pay a few bills that I didn't think I was going to be able to pay off early, or you know, pay even on time, things like power and gas and stuff like that. And uh, rather than send a uh, art supplies, which of course is always appreciated, but uh, Melody elected to put some uh, cash in my PayPal account, and uh, and I asked her if it was okay if I told people that, and she said yes, because it's important to remember that people often need help outside of coloring supplies. And I thought that was a great thing. Now, that is not, by the way, that is not to, stay, to say that I need help. Trust me, 
when I am broke, <laughs> I start putting things on sale. And uh, and you, you'll know that I'm broke by the fact that I'm having a sale. <laughs> but I do believe that I am going to be okay for a couple, a couple of months anyway. Okay. There we go. Because December was pretty good. So there is that. Now, let's zhuzh it up just a tiny bit with some gel pen. We have these beautiful gel pens that Kenny got, sent me. Kenny, please, if you are listening to this, please check in. I know you're reading my messages. Please just let me know you're okay. Okay. So I wanted to... Now, this green is kind of teal colored. But... I thought we would use it to outline. It's hard for me to see here, guys. I got a little glare going on at this angle trying to keep it off of you and putting it on me ooh that's pretty Oh, and the other thing I did want to say is for those of you who did not read the comments, but who saw my last Happy Mail video, that those lovely gifts, the Nathaniel Wake book, Dragon's, Dragon Life, and the um, super cool pencil extenders um, came from Jack and Jerry Ann Brown. So thank you very much, Jack and Jerry Ann, that is really really appreciated i love that you were so thoughtful to want to do something nice they um they were uh they they said that people who give of themselves <laughs> deserve something given back but i i don't think that what i do is give of myself so much as i just tell stories human stories my stories that hopefully other people can relate to. And I draw a little. Oh, I like the way that that looks. Okay. So really what I'm doing is I'm just going over the, um, where I, I drew the sections to give just a little bit of iridescence to these wings and I apologize for that glare let's see if I can uh, get something under there let's see if the pencils are or no they're not tall enough to get rid of that glare let me, let me grab see if that's tall enough to to offset that glare a little bit Okay, well, yeah, maybe if I pull it down here. Maybe if I pull it down here. And, uh, I am really excited, guys, about, uh, guys. I mean, I know you're not all guys. Uh, and I hope you don't mind that I do that. Uh, it's just a habit. Uh, I'm excited about um, settling on a day to live stream, and I can hardly wait. I uh, had thought to see if I could uh, slide into yesterday's event, but I wasn't ready in it, and, and there were already so many people on that schedule, 
and it just looked like it was a ball. Uh, of course, I slept through most of it, uh, which was a good thing, too, because I don't know if it was this way where you are, but the uh, the neighborhood fireworks started at about 8 p.m. and did not let up until after midnight. Uh, of course, fireworks here in uh, residential fireworks here in Virginia are illegal. Um, however, <laughs> however, rules were made to be broken, and uh, I'm turning the page just a little bit, just so I can reach this. Uh, and as long as they're not setting my house on fire, uh, I don't really have a problem with it. Um, you know, with the as long as there are responsible adults and people are cognizant of fire damage and things like that. Uh, but it's terrible for the animals. They get they get so frightened. And I have a family of bunnies that lives under my house. along with a number of cats that seem to live down there with the bunnies. So there were M80s going off. From about eight o'clock all the way through now fortunately some of these kids um, have really oh that is so pretty I don't know if, if you can see that or not but look at how pretty that is yeah I like that just on the wings I don't want to I don't want to do what my stepmother would call gilding the lily. Hang on one sec. Hi everyone. Sorry about that. I had to take a quick pause and then the front doorbell rang and no, it wasn't somebody with the mail that I should have gotten yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Sundays will be fun. I'm going to, so I will start at uh, 2 and go to either like 3.30 or 4. And then it'll be May from 4 to like 5.30 or 6. And then comes Shaleen, and that is always fun. So Sunday should be a fun-filled day. I do hope that you will consider joining me um, and tell all your friends. Share the uh, news and if you think that they would would like it um, and all of that. I do have a, a special message for Donna Durham. Donna, if you happen to watch this video, uh, would you do me a favor? Um, would you either uh, contact me on Facebook? You know, it's all, always C.L. Aldridge Art everywhere. Or uh, leave me something in the message. Uh, that you got this and um, or you could send me an email at uh, claldridgeart at gmail or at gmail.com claldridgeart at gmail.com uh, I know that you wanted to take advantage of the sale and were unable to do so before the sale was over yet last night um, and I was going to fix you up with a uh, code that you could use. Because I know what it's like to, to uh, have to wait on 
stop coming in. And, uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I am really excited. I am hoping that 2019 is a breakthrough year for my art, for my business, for my um, YouTube channel, for a lot of different things. Um, gosh, wouldn't it be nice if it could bring health to everyone, too? Some sort of a major medical breakthrough that would magically fix all that ails us. I would like that very much. I was listening to the news and they were talking about, um, you know, that they, they anticipate that we're about five to ten years away from being able to print an artificial heart with a 3D printer. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the lives that that will save? And the donors that won't have to, or the people that are sick will not have to wait for the, you know, for, for the fact that apparently there are over 100,000 people waiting for only 16,000 organs. That is, that's staggering. Absolutely staggering. Every once in a while, you do need to clean off these pins a little bit, just because uh, they can get clogged up with the wax as you are putting them down and, you know, over waxy pencils. Ooh, we're almost done with this. I can hardly wait to put a photo of it on Instagram and then decide what to color next. I think it might be a page from Flowers of Wonder because that book hardly got any love at all over Christmas. And it's the one that I released just before Fantasy Flower Garden, which was the one with the mice. So I'll have to maybe give it a little attention. It is also the book that has those jeweled butterflies that I did with the square gemstones. Okay, so those are looking good. Um, I don't know if the blue will look good on that or not, but let's just see. Now, it looks <clears throat> a lot like the... Uh, It is blue, but it's got like a turquoisey sheen, like the, and it's kind of hard to tell it apart. One thing about this stuff is I did figure out that if you don't like, if you put down, um, these are the hybrid, uh, the Pentel liquid, Pentel hybrid dual metallic markers or dual metallic gels. If you don't like it, once it's dry, you can just scratch it right off with your fingernail. I did one over here where I put gold on it, decided I didn't like it, and so I just scratched it off. It left a little bit of residue, but not very much. Okay, I do think that that is uh, as much as I have got to both tell you and show you today. Focus there and pull that back out and do that and see if I can't pull that out a little. Let's go back to, up to 
Auto focus, focus on me, please. Hello. Okay. Yeah, that's me making strange, strange creature noises. So I do believe that that is that. Once again, this is a page from my book, Flowers and Whimsy. And I did release this in 2017. It was my fourth book. Um, and it is primarily, it is mandalas uh, <clears throat> of this type of variety. Full page, full page with, you know, lots of decorations. And it does have here in the back uh, uh, the ones without the extra on them. And this one also is a book that has, uh, oh, yeah, okay, there's good. That's one that I did. I did that with the uh, Derwent Ink Tints and uh, Neo Colors. That's my favorite one. Right there, I haven't done it yet. but uh, And then, of course, like all my books, it's got lots of bonus pages here in the back. And this is the one that we did for uh, the... Taking the Black Widows, the original Black Widow set out for a test drive. And the goal was to use a particular color palette. <coughs> Thank you everybody for watching me color along on this. I do hope that you enjoyed it, colored one of your own. Until we meet again on Sunday, uh, live at 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, United States of America. That would be 6 p.m. Uh, uh, UK time. And I believe it is late morning uh, on Monday in Australia. At any rate, until then, please color something pretty. Thank you for joining. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Hit the bell to get notifications so you never miss a video. And Christine Aldridge signing out.